Hi friends. I have created a shop with me video at Savers in Springfield, Massachusetts. And this is my pre shopping with me video warning, I guess. A lot of you have told me that you love to listen to my voice because it's calming or I'm calming or something about being calming, which is a little bit of a surprise to both me and my family. <laughs> but um, when I was in Springfield, I was under a time crunch and I love people so much, you guys, so much. Like I am a golden retriever for people. I like meet people with the same excitement and wild abandon as a golden retriever. However, there were a lot of people at this Savers. I had never been to a Savers before. I had heard not so great things about them. I wanted to check it out myself. Um, I, I see the value in them. I also see what people have a hard time with. So that's a story for another day. But I wanted to just warn you a couple things. It's the first time I'm using my husband's camera to do a live shop with me. Some of you wanted me to talk instead of do a voiceover, so I did. Here's the problem. I'm stressed in this video. So I am shaking. I am, I'm bumping into a lot of people. It's a, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to avoid getting in people's way. Um, I'm being looked at funny because I'm talking to myself and uh, I sound like Darth Vader. I'm breathing really heavy in this, in this shop with me. And so if you came here for a calming shopping video, I don't know that this is the one. So try it. See what you think. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. I just wanted to give you a warning that um, I was a little bit stressed. And in the car, in the van, I do a pre-shop. I think I do a pre-shop talk or a post-shop talk. Anyway, you'll know in the video. And you, and you can see the sweat and the stress. Um, so I know that I sound like Darth Vader in it. I know that I'm breathing super heavy and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I tried. I suppose a voiceover might've been better. You tell me, you tell me what you think. And I tried to find the goods that I bought there in my van cause I haven't unpacked my van from the trip yet. Uh, again, we went to Springfield, Mass, Philly, Pennsylvania, and um, Camden, New Jersey, and I, my van is full of stuff from all the thrifting I did, and I'll have those videos uh, coming along. So I'll show you, you know what, I'm not going to do a haul video for the end of this. You see in my cart what I ended up buying, and I can't find the stuff right now to show you in a haul video. So uh, the only thing I can find is uh, this set of plates that I bought. Set of six for $6.99. I'm crazy in love with uh, one of the other things I bought. And you'll see it in the video. Like, I'm crazy in love with it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to part with it or not. Yeah, I'm probably going to part with it. I need to pay for the trip, right? And I want to go back. So these things cost money. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope it's not too stressful. And away we go. Bye for now. Well, there's no music in the background, which is nice. Oh. But it is very, very busy today. I have a feeling I'm not going to find anything crazy amazing, but I'm going to try.
this is a maybe. I'll put that in the maybe spot. Looks like they're bringing things out as I shop. So that's nice. Now Savers is a place that people come to and get frustrated with quite a bit. I haven't tried it yet and we don't have any in Maine, so I'm in Springfield, Mass. Ooh, look at this string art. Wow. So I'm in Springfield, Mass, giving it a shot on our way to Jersey and Philly. It's very loud here. <laughs> I wonder if I could there open it up a little bit. I'm probably breathing heavy too, sorry about that. Oh sure, pardon me. Oh look at that. Oh my gosh. I could fit that into my van right now. Wow. Um, I can't tell what the saver's price is. $49.99. This one, that is pretty gorgeous, but it's got a lot of mold in it. All that string art. That's beautiful. Now this is what I wanted to see, the, um, packages on the wall of things put together this is exciting to be <laughs> to be here finally after watching all kinds of thrifting videos about such places I'm trying to avoid people I'm also trying to avoid getting told to put my camera away Sure. Oh, look at her. Oh, nineteen eighty, Mexico. Look at her. I might have to think about that. Um, I'm loving listening to all the different languages being spoken here and all the different accents. So different from Bangor, Maine. They must be cleaning this area because it's closed. This place is huge. I just dropped the boys off to the... Um, Basketball Hall of Fame and I'm trying to get to as many thrift stores as possible but I think I'm only going to make a couple hmm. an old Pluto made in Korea and a paperweight I don't know I'm pretty sure I was just being made fun of, but I'm not even mad at it. They were like, beep, beep, get out of the way. Oh. dark over here. Oh, look at those. 
Laufer, Japan. I need to look those up. Cranberry. I'm going to look those up. Oh, look at Maine. We're not in Maine anymore. There's some neat cups. All right. I'm going to press pause for a minute to check out those plates, and it's getting really loud over here. Okay, one moment. Okay, so I found that those cranberry plates were worth a little bit, so I'm going to grab those. As pretty as those are, I don't think they're going to be worth anything. As I suspected, I was right all along. Ooh. This looks older, but oops, there it is, guys. I'm getting used to this camera. This is my husband's. Hmm. The prices are definitely higher than Goodwill. I wonder how crowded the Goodwills are going to be here. The linens. All right, we'll try another aisle. So nobody seems to be following the one-way aisles, so I'm not either. Because if I did, I would be crashing into everyone. And now I'm helping others make bad decisions because they're following me. <sighs> oh my goodness, there's just too much here. All right, I'll try to follow the rules now. I'm not even gonna bother to look at the clothes because that must be insanity. Oh, look at all these golden books. How much are books here? Oh my gosh, way more than Goodwill. I'd have to find a really good one to make it worth it. Well, that might be worth it. Uh, I mean, if I ever see a Grover one, that would work too. So this begins my thrifting adventure for the week. This is kind of exciting. I'm going to try not to get people. The aisles of books, tons and tons of books. I could look for some oldies, but I don't think I'm going to find them here. And frankly, this place makes me nervous. Hey, Peggy, look what I found. Imagine if he worked. Oh, he wants to, but he can't. Okay, I'm going to sneak around and because now we're getting into clothes. I'm going the right way this time. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back in some more linens. You know I love my anchors. The camera is trying to focus and it's doing a pretty good job, but it's like constantly trying to focus. It's a great lens for photography, but I'm not sure about for video because it just keeps making all kinds of noises. I like to look at pillowcases because some of the old ones are worth money. And that would not be anything here. 
All right. Did I go down this one? I am just making bad decisions now. Okay, so I'm going down the right way now, which means I'm gonna crash someone. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be good. Okay, so now I have a little bit of freedom to look through these bags. And sometimes I watch people on YouTube go through these and they have the coolest things. And I'm just not seeing that here. Let me move my cart over before I get in trouble. Oh, what is this? What is this? It's an elephant person and maybe like a shepherd. Oh, I got some shot glasses here. Old Orchard Beach. Well, that's Maine. Atlantic City. That's not Maine. I just really don't know where to go anymore. If you could see me trying to avoid Trying to avoid people. So as not to upset them as I'm being slow. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're gonna find much in these bags. So Try another way. Shift the camera a bit. I'm trying to go up and down, but really there's not that much to see in any which way, any which way I do it. I mean, packed full of stuff, but just not the kinds of things we're looking for. And what are we looking for, you might ask? Well, vintage things, stuff to resell. Oh, this is neat. As a photographer, I love this. It's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. $3.99. I did want to check these, because I use these to ship things in. I usually pay a dollar or two, and I do not pay five, because that's how much they are brand new. Sometimes cheaper. That's cute. But broken. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this looks like a home piece. I like that. Seven dollars. Very heavy. Not signed. It has fish. They look like koi. But it's a long week of buying things, so I'm not sure I need that. Um, oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Like coffee, mate. That is kind of fun. 
All right, let's see what we have so far. The pokey little puppy. I was gonna check on this. I'm really not sure about it. I had a wicked thing for this lady. So, not so much anyone else in there. Although I'll keep the angels probably for myself. I don't know. Those plates, eh, not that sure. Oh, geez, this fell out. I did not take that out. The paperweight that I don't know much about. Okay, I'm gonna check some comps and then we'll see what happens. So I think this is the Eucharist. Show you, but there we go. And I'm trying to decide about it. $4.99. I'm shaking holding it. They keep putting other pictures out. So I think I may have to go through the art again. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> it is possessed. Huh. That's kind of funny. Oh, there we go. And then... <laughs> I kind of want it just because it's possessed oh god no I'm leaving it I've got a long week ahead of me I had to put back that stained glass piece because it was cracked alright I'm getting a little sweaty in here I think it's time to go I'll look here Oh, uh, what's this turtle? What is this turtle doing? Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, wait a minute. Are these boxers or bulldogs? Made in Japan. Salt and pepper. All right, what do you think the price is going to be? I want it to be $2.99. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why do they have different colors? Do they have like different discounts for different colors? Is this like Goodwill? Oh, should I? Shouldn't I? Oh, the ear. Done. Done. Oh, guys. It's not the easiest to shop here. Okay. Let's go in that long line. I might not last. We'll see. Oh my gosh. I made it. Okay. I was... Ooh. Do I look frightened? Do I look scared? Do I look completely... Um, anxiety ridden. Yeah. I was just in Savers in Springfield, Mass. And I love people. And I love diversity. And I, and I loved both those things in there. But there was too much people. Too many people. A lot of screaming babies. Nobody going the right way. Um me worried because of the camera not wanting to get people on film the prices were high i will admit that that is something that um y'all keep saying and it's and i found it to be true and a lot of broken items uh but no lack of sales that line out the uh the cash register line was so long i mean i am sweating 
This is my first thrift store of this thrift store trip, so I'm a little worried. I only got some plates, a pokey little puppy book, and this sweet, sweet Mexican piece of art in one of those savers bags. So I might show those at the end of the video, but my boys are still at the Basketball Museum Hall of Fame. And so they told me to take my time and I'm going to try to go to um, some more places before everything closes because we're already not doing so well on time. So anyway, love you guys. Thank you for being with me.